Hello, good morning, good evening, how you all doing? So, there's been an update to Clipper that affects the uh, LIS 2DW. Um, so we're going to talk about it and see what it's all about. So, a uh, little background, the LSI 2DW and Clipper was known to cause some issues. Um, and it was thought, the original thing was thought that it had to do with the internal non-bypassable bandwidth filter. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, this pull request here, let's see if we can, uh, this, this, an issue was brought up, um, saying, look, we can recreate it. They were able to recreate the error that we were talking about on the LIS 2DW, and they did some more testing and stuff, and then they developed a pull request, and, uh, it ends up being, well, I'll get to the data, but uh, the end result for you that want to go close this uh, video out early is that it had to do with how they were uh, getting the data off of the LSI 2DW. So the initial testing, I'm using a Lulzbot TAS 6, um, the Y axis only, and that's because I have the exact same accelerometer of the BTT ADXL 345 and the BTT. Uh, uh, what is it, the uh, 2DW, or S2DW, which is an LIS 2DW, they're the exact same size, the exact same everything, except for the main chip, I believe, and the whole pattern's the same, so I could basically just do a one-to-one -one swap and test it out and see what happens. And we're using Calico, so Calico has implemented the new Clipper software, so we're going to use the Calico uh, version 12, as you see right there. And then we're using, going, after we do the testing there, then I did switch it over to Clipper, which has the new software in it. And I consider this an initial testing because I haven't got a, I don't have a tool head board that has an LSI 2DW on it. Um, I'm, I've ordered or I'm waiting on the EBB 36 Gen 2. Hopefully uh, get that and test it out. Um, that's going to be provided by uh, Fabrico. Uh, very nice of them. So we'll do that and we'll do the testing and give them more complete testing. But this is the results. So it's only Y axis. Remember this. So this is regular. Oh, there we go. This is Calico. And as you can see, some of the issues we were getting previously in the LSI 2W was this laser disco light show here. And this is a false um, peak right here that we were getting. And this was this. Both of these were the main reason I was not recommending the LSI 2DW in the past is because of this peak that would just show up. And that looks, in, in a mechanical sense or troubleshooting sense, this looks like binding right here. This is what your system would do if there's binding on the belts or binding on the motion system. And this just, just was kind of like not useful and you couldn't get the idea out of it. You could also tell that it was an LSI 2W because it still does it. It has this little cutoff here, this little white space, right at the end of, uh, we'll blow it up, right there. You see that right at the end? So it's still not capturing the full 200. I think it goes to like 195 or something like that. But this this was the big reason here. And there was also, um, can we go control Z? There we go. Um, Sometimes you would also see an offset in the peaks uh, or in the whole graph where the whole graph was up a little higher than, than it was on this. Not every chip does this on the LSI 2DW. Some were better than others. But this is what we saw. This is And this is why I didn't recommend it. Now with the new Clipper update, which is this is a version of Clipper I'm using, um, they're basically the same. There's really no difference. Now this graph here, you see this. The red is here and the green. That's just because of the orientation of the chip. And it does not affect the measurements or the readings. It's just really the orientation of the accelerometer. Um, but what you can see is when you look at these two together, uh, you can't see it because it's not as clear as it should be, but this, all of the numbers are about the same now. So it, it all looks good. So in initial testing, it looks like, the issue, well, we'll go into the conclusions. So the issue was not the internal filter or bandwidth filter that I thought it was. It was actually a clipper not 
reading the data fast enough so that data would go stale in the FIFO, which is just a first in, first out. Think of it as a little small memory. Um, so they weren't re they were only reading it, I think, at 400 hertz. And so what they did was they increased it to 16, about 1,600 samples a second. So they're basically flushing out. Every time they read it, they flush out the FIFO, get new data. And that, that appears to be to have been the issue and appears to be the solution was to, to do this. Um, as I said, I, this is just initial testing, so I'm not saying to use it. It's okay to use it now. I need to do more testing and others need to... I think people just need to verify it since it's been an issue for a while. Um, I would want to do a complete testing, which is the compare belts, the input shape or the vibration profile on both, on a tool head board that has a boat that I, I don't have because I basically tossed them all. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll do the full testing on that and I'll get back to you guys and let you know what I get with that. Um, so that's... That appears to be where we're at. So look right now that Clipper solved this kind of issue and, and we could probably use the LSI2DW again. As far as, if we go back to this data, as far as one being better than the other, quote unquote, I don't really see it. The data is, I mean, they're showing the same. I, I'm not seeing anything that would say it's inherently better, or inherently worse. I'm using pulse only. As you can see, um, sweeping would just mess up these back here and, and smooth everything out uh, so right now conclusion is uh, go ahead if you're using clipper at this version or higher uh, LSI 2 dw appears to be okay I'm not guaranteeing it um, but if you're using calico you're gonna need to wait so if you're using calico because calico hasn't updated the or merged the, the improvements I would still use the ADXL 345. This is Creek. Sorry, this guy's didn't last for like an hour or two, but uh, this is all I got. So, uh, yeah, thanks a lot.